Um, we, if you Come don't on, mind, John. we were, Come on, John. We were Come talking on, John. before the um, before the podcast, and you told us, I don't know, like the press, you got a bit. Someone got in touch with you or something. When when the um, Shankly closed down, I was sitting there one day, and then I came at the door. It was three detectives, mm. and you know it's not a nice sight. If to you see. don't mind talking about it, no, no. I, listen, I, I have no secrets. Ask me whatever you like. Um, three detectives came to the door and they said uh, we need to see you urgently and talk through an issue we have. So by the way, you think oh God, there's something wrong with him? Take you and get your wife. So I got Kate and brought her down, and they hit me with a, a Miranda notice. And a Miranda notice says there was a threat on your life. Now the threat on our life was deemed as very serious. Uh, so much so, they left a 24-hour security car outside of the Shankly Hotel for six weeks. Uh, I then had a developer phone me one day, someone I know really well, and he asked me, did I think various people were corrupt in the city? And I said, I don't care. I don't care whether they are or they're not. I'm trying to keep my business and my sanity and my life together, and my family together. Um, and it went on for about 45 minutes and he asked me a few more questions and then, and then he went. The next day, I got a, co- I got a text in um, from a very prominent um, politician and he said, I hope you know I'd never hurt you or your wife. I'm always here for you. Um, and I said... Was that just out of the blue as well? Oh yeah, I hadn't spoken to him for months. Didn't you say that it went away? Well, let me let me just finish that bit. And, and I said, I, I, you know, I have no extra ground with anyone. I just want to save my business. I don't want anything. I just want to save my business. You crack on with what you're doing, and I'll crack on with what I'm doing. And um, two days later, the three detectives turned up again. And said, it's all gone again. What was that like? Like, what was it? Did you must have been, were you anxious to fuck? But how... How does the detective know it's gone away? The Miranda notice, you know what I mean? Um, I believe <laughs> it was on the encrypted phones that they were all listening to. It was at the same time. So, I don't care about threats. I never have. I don't care. I don't care if I die tomorrow. I just don't care. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Bring my wife in, then I've got an issue. But that just made me come up with my plan. My plan was get my investors on side, get myself back open again, make sure that everyone knows I've not took a single penny, nothing. I don't live, everyone who knows me knows I live a very normal life. I don't have big holidays, my car's eight years old, you know, I don't have watches, I don't, I don't believe in, in all that rubbish at all. I just felt as though my time will come, buy me time, wait, get open again, keep on talking the way I am about the council, what they're up to, and my view of the council is it isn't just the top guy it is the councillors that have supported that mechanism and let's let's see what that mechanism is let's see what's proven and what not pro- what's not proven in the end but certainly there's no smoke without fire and and absolutely you know there are still people within that council uh, still there today uh, that have absolutely caused issue for this city in regard to not gaining the funding that they should have in regard to not gaining the funds for the sites yeah. that as we well have. as they be they be good people on the council too on oh, just, uh, look i've got yeah. i've got there's a couple in the council yeah. that, are, that, that that i love you know that, that i think i like you know i won't say the names of them because um you know it wouldn't be fair on them because they probably get beaten up on the back of it but there's some of them are absolutely amazing but there's an awful lot that aren't there's awful lot that are absolutely self-serving and should never be in that position. Yeah. And and I believe that there should be more people coming forward. And I and I you know I'm a Labour guy, but you know you've got to start looking at what is right and what is wrong. 